Hannah. Oh, eight out of ten cats does countdown. John Richardson. John Locke. Michelle Wolf. Bob Beckett. Spencer Jones. Susie Dent. Rachel O'Reilly. And your host, Jim. Welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers and conundrums. And if you're a viewer of regular daytime countdown, then I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you for your service during World War One. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's Sean Locke! <laughs> We've got a bit of a reputation on this show for only saying mean things about John. So, Sean, I'm not saying he's angry, but he's ready to blow at any point, just like John Richardson's mum. <laughs> <laughs> she is 100% watching this. <laughs> I met John's mum in a queue, and she didn't seem that sort of person to me. What was the queue for? <laughs> for John's mum. <laughs> <laughs> and joining Sean tonight is Michelle Wolf. <laughs> Michelle is from America, and of course there are subtle differences in how we use English. We say trousers, they say pants, we say lift, they say elevator. We say, I'm unarmed, don't shoot, they say, oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Up against them this evening, it's John Richardson! John, I know some people say you're a nerdy, geeky, annoying, boring man with no <laughs> friends and everyone thinks you're a loser, but remember... That's all I got written down. <laughs> <laughs> and John's teammate, Rob Beckett! <laughs> Here's a fun fact. Before becoming a stand-up, Rob worked in a kitchen as an industrial food blender. <laughs> 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 I can't help feeling that with the glasses, you look like sort of a Nazi scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I look a bit like someone from like the oh, not God. too distant future. Oh yeah. Well, like, Hello <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your guide. <laughs> uh, John, how do you act in an emergency? I sort of think emergencies are for people who haven't planned properly enough. <laughs> My daughter's two now, and she's obviously it's that age that she's just into everything. And the other week. It was my fault. I, I looked away for a minute and I, I must have left it unlocked because she got into my sock drawer. Uh, <laughs> I turned around and she was pulling everything out and she was pairing up black socks that she thought were a pair, but they were different kinds of black socks. <laughs> <laughs> that takes hours to undo that sort of damage. <laughs> and yeah, it's true what they say. You don't think, you just act. You know, I just <laughs> passed out. <laughs> Rob, you're the father of two. How has having kids affected you? I've, I've put on a bit of weight because we've been having takeaways and not doing as much exercise. I noticed that, so I went to the gym to sort it out and I had the induction and the guy said to me, what is it you want to achieve? And I said to him, look, I'll be honest, mate, I just want to be able to drive over a speed bump without my tits jiggling. <laughs> <laughs> How old are your kids now? You Got a one-year-old and a three-year-old. I, I try to have rules with them. Like, no eating on the sofa, but they don't listen. So what I do is I just change the rules and go, yeah, you can eat on the sofa. <laughs> so I sort of still have control in a way. <laughs> <laughs> but what I've learned is a great tip is don't get too hat up on rules. Be willing to change them or you do get undermined quite a lot. <laughs> OK. Uh, Michelle, you were involved in a bit of controversy with Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Tell us what happened. Um, well, I, first I did the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Then a couple months later, uh, I don't know, six months later, uh, the president tweeted at me saying that I was a so-called comedian and I'd broken the dinner, which I did. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to use a comedian anymore. But he, he didn't even go to the dinner. No, he didn't. He's, uh, as I said at the dinner, he's the one pussy you're not allowed to grab. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, yes. how do you amuse yourself when you're bored? Well, Jimmy, I've recently taken up uh, I've embraced shoplifting. <laughs> I find shoplifting, it's, re it's, it's rewarding, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I've realised that since the, uh, you, you know, drastic funding cuts, you know, there's really, really no consequences. <laughs> and you can just, you know, go and do it. And people are going, yeah, cool. <laughs> it's like Holland, with, but with shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, she come and take our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, it's no problem. Mm. It's just things after all. You know. <laughs> Come and take a things and then you take them home. <laughs> it's nice. I can feel our studio audience, I think, are being sort of slightly old fashioned about this. I think maybe they're thinking that. Well, a lot of people think that shops, you should pay for things in shops, which is. <laughs> yeah, that's cool if that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> okay. John, have you got a mascot? Yes, well, there comes a time for all comedians at some point to accept their fate and step back from the dog-eat-dog -dog world of adult entertainment. I am writing a children's story. So, having had a child, I've looked into what kids like and I commissioned studies to try and find a character kids could really relate to, something brand new, something they'd never seen before. <laughs> and I've written this book called Salty Sow. <laughs> is an entirely brand new character I've come up with. <laughs> My studies came back and said kids like pigs with names that sound like they've been seasoned. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so... Salty sow, you yeah. Salty sow. Independently. Totally brand new. Do you think of any other seasonings <laughs> for it? Um, there's uh, Horseradish Harry <laughs> is another character <laughs> in the... Um, and obviously, when we go global, mm. there's Wasabi Willie. <laughs> piri Piri Pete. <laughs> um, this is for the UK market, Salty Sour. I've modelled the father on myself. Um, <laughs> I find that what you don't realise until your kids start watching these programmes is how heavily their behaviour is influenced by the characters they see on telly. So my daughter learned no and pushing something away from these little pricks. <laughs> Um, so this is a book all about sort of positive role models for kids. So uh, this is a this is a classic uh, story. It starts out uh, on the couch. Look at that chaos there. <laughs> salty Sow is sitting quietly with Daddy Sow. Are we going to have fun, Daddy? Yes, we are salty. We're going to realphabetize your books. <laughs> We're going to have a cracking afternoon. Is that all, Daddy? No. We're going to be even more fun than that. We're going to go around your bedroom, <laughs> noticing how storage efficiency can be improved. <laughs> What shall we do after we've sorted the new storage solutions, Daddy? Well, we'll celebrate downstairs with a glass of water and a dry cracker. <laughs> <laughs> um, my issue with a lot of these kids' stories is um, the way they end. So what happens in most of these? Someone says something mildly amusing and they all fall on the floor and laugh at the same time, which, as one of this country's leading comedians, I've got to tell you, has very rarely happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this funny 24-7, and I'll be honest, my wife, if she rolls around on the floor, she's very rarely with laughter. <laughs> Mostly, it's a more sort of hair-pulling, how has my life become this way experience. You, uh, you're trying for another, are you? <laughs> <laughs> wife? Um, <laughs> can you imagine if I was the one that left? No, no, she's <laughs> So, obviously, with, with Salty being a pig, if you flick to the end, these end a little bit more graphically, and at the end of every episode, they're killed and eaten. Um, so she's saying, there, Daddy, why are we in a sandwich? And he's saying, because, Salty, there are some assholes who still eat meat. Welcome to the fucking world. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rob, have you, have you got a mascot? Yes, I've got a mascot. Um, basically, sometimes doing this show, uh, morale dips. So I've got something quite inspirational. Um, a lot of people on Instagram put motivational quotes on it. However, I do it through pictures. Um, and I basically take pictures of celebrities and megastars, people that really made it at points in their life and they weren't really making it to give everyone hope. So I've got these pictures that, uh, you know, will keep my morale up. For example, Justin Timberlake and Britney in all denim. <laughs> that was a sort of a low point all round for those guys. <laughs> it's Peter Andre. With some in, uh, incredible hair. That was actually before he married Katie Price. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite. I think this, this really delivers a message. It's David Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> in a sort of sexy black and white pose. What does he do? He was and still is an incredible goalkeeper. Uh, he's here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spunky! They call him Spunky. 
Right. Because his last name's Seaman, they call him Spunky? Yes. No, no, no. no. Really, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. Unrelated. Well, I wish that was the case. <laughs> um, so these guys I'll be just looking at all the way through just to keep the pecker up if morale is dipping. Good. Excellent news. Uh, Michelle, have you, have you got a mascot? I do. I have a mascot. Um, well, it's, like, clearly a very stressful time. You know, we, we have got Trump, and you guys are trying to figure out what you have. <laughs> and, <laughs> A lot of people have been getting emotional support animals. It's a good idea, yeah. Which um, I decided to do as well, but I was a little behind on the trend, so a lot of the good animals were gone. Um, all the dogs were taken. Oh. Uh, you couldn't get a dog. They needed them for blind people. Uh, <laughs> and so I have my emotional support animal with me here today. Oh, That's a man. His name is... <laughs> 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 so I got it. I got a tarantula. Oh, yeah. um, his name An is David. Oh, he's tarantula. touching it with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I mean, I will pay you £100 to put that on John's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, away, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 fuck that. <laughs> I think it's really time for that conundrum, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's sneaking off. So you see a spider, and most of the time they're surprise spiders, you know? So you're like, oh, no. But this is just David. If I saw David in my bath, I'd move out. Well, <laughs> but that's because you weren't expecting David in your bath. But if you were like, David, do you want to have a bath? And then David was in there, you'd be like, David, join me for a bath. He doesn't seem massively fond but of that, you, Michelle. that's the other oh. thing. <laughs> I'm still winning him over. Uh, I think David needs a support animal. <laughs> scared of spiders, are you? No, I've got my David. As soon as I couldn't see him, I've completely lost my mind. <laughs> At what point is he going to think, I know I've got eight legs, this woman has thousands of hands. <laughs> 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 Step off one, there's another one right there. I know he's relaxing you, and that's what the emotional support animal's for. I sense that it's maybe putting Rob and John off a little bit. Well, John started rocking. But I didn't jump on my chair. <laughs> Do you want to hold him, Chad? No, I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Michelle's emotional support to Rangelo, everyone. <laughs> I feel relaxed. Sean, have you got a mascot? I do have a mascot, Jimmy. <laughs> um, I'm sure you're well aware more than any of us about the uh, bottom falling out of the DVD market. <laughs> How's a comedian to make a little bit on the side these days, you know? Yeah. And uh, I thought, time to go into the luxury hamper market. <laughs> Ooh! Yes, that's yes. where the real dollars are. All sourced by me. Lovely products sourced and created by me. <laughs> and uh, it's not a hamper because I realised the wicker very unsustainable. All the wicker forests have been cut down <laughs> and there's no wicker left. <laughs> OK, what's in the luxury hamper? Well, first of all, look, it comes in a pillowcase. <laughs> Imagine that. On your door. Nothing says luxury. But it's full of delicious things. So I've got stuff here like uh, my very special nose cheese. <laughs> and, um, I have to harvest that myself. <laughs> what, is, what is nose cheese? Yeah, I put it out of the side of my nose. Over a few months, you can get quite a... <laughs> And it's just the, the sort of the white head. Yeah, but it's not just me, it's the whole family. Get, get <laughs> <laughs> it will have lock DNA in that cheese. And that is delicious if you're off your tits. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the back, my back sack and cracklings. <laughs> <laughs> you can either have them as a snack or. Um, <laughs> they're like a sort of um, very sort of. Full on saffron. <laughs> Here's one of my favourites, Sean Tong. You know that Bill Tong, that dried beef? This is dried bits of me. <laughs> Scabs, basically. <laughs> uh, collected. And uh, do you want to try? No, you don't, do you? <laughs> and uh, 
This oh. is traditional gentleman's biffing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the product of more than one gentleman as well. <laughs> yeah, get it to... oh. <laughs> yeah, that's ready. Um, you might have to explain that to Michelle. She's not. She's not from round here. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> uh, biffing is well. It's probably easiest if I show you. It's, <laughs> it's sort of a. Um, is that oh, you bit? might call it the taint. Oh, you guys call it the biffin? Well, yeah. We biffin. call it biffin's bridge. Biffin's bridge. Mm. Oh, I like that. Nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you like this then? You like some biffin? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's quite gamey. <laughs> okay, over in dictionary corner, it's Spencer Jones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spencer, how's, um, how's the family? Family's good, although the missus doesn't like my legs. What? Yeah, she's not keen on my legs. So what I've done is, is I've, um, I've got this thing... <laughs> ..where you can make your legs a bit nicer. It's a bit painful after about ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and with special thought, it's Susie Dent. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. If someone buys a Susie Dent book, they automatically get a call from the Samaritans. <laughs> <laughs> What have you been researching recently? Collective nouns. Uh, so we all know the normal ones, like murmuration of starlings or exaltation of larks. But if you just put modern collective nouns as a hashtag on Twitter, you get some brilliant ones back. So there was a drain of iPhone batteries, blur of opticians, <laughs> foot hurt of Lego, <laughs> and my favourite was a wunch of bankers. <laughs> 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 And in charge of the numbers, we've got Rachel Riley. <laughs> Here's two fun facts about Rachel. One, she's never missed a day of work, and two, she's never worked a day in her life. <laughs> <laughs> if you could trade brains with any one of our contestants, who would it be, Rachel? That's easy. The less you know, the better you sleep. Rob Beckett. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I am a happy man. He does look happy, but if you had those teeth, you'd look happy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the prize the Chiefs will be competing for tonight is this, the Countdown Hot Tub. <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for the first game. Uh, Sean, Michelle, you get the first pick of the letters. Did I just pick letters? No, no, you're going vowel or consonant. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> if you just pick up, pick a whole word, it would speed things up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have tomorrow, please? <laughs> Longest word Rob knows. <laughs> you still didn't go for a nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michelle, pick some letters. I do uh, two consonants. G, S, a vowel, E, uh, another consonant. P, another consonant. L, a vowel. I, a vowel. O, and two more consonants. And R and M. OK, for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Um, <laughs> Rob, how many? Seven. <laughs> okay, uh, John, how many? Maybe an eight. He's made you look like a dick, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, how many? Uh, six. Six. Okay. Six. Sean, six. Okay, uh, Michelle, you're six. 
Groins. <laughs> Groins. OK, Sean, you're six. Resign. <laughs> OK. Uh, Rob, you're seven. Spoiler. Oh. Yeah, don't yeah, be patronising. Spoiler. Uh, you're eight, John. Well, I don't know if it's a word. Reposing. Yeah. Really yeah. reposing. Three <laughs> <laughs> points for John. Could they have done any better? Um, a couple more eights. Um, spongier and resoling. OK, so at the end of that, John and Rob are in the lead with eight. <laughs> OK, John, Rob, you get a pick of the numbers. <laughs> Two big ones and the rest, whatever's left over. Small ones. Th thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Two big, four small. And okay. they are four. <clears throat> Five. Sure. Ten. OK. Ten. Yeah. One hundred. All the O's. <laughs> and three hundred and thirty. OK, and your time starts now. OK, so the target was 3.30. Michelle Wolf. I know you used to work on Wall Street. You must be pretty good with numbers. Did you get it? No. <laughs> I got 10 minus 4 equals 6, and, and then I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sean, did you get it? No. Uh, John, did you get it? I hope so. <laughs> I think Big Dog's got it. I think I've done it. Uh, yeah. Rob, yeah. how do you think you did it? Let's let's retract that round of applause. Just Rob? <laughs> uh, no, no, well, don't, Rob. No. Just tell us tell us how you did it. <laughs> no, because I haven't done Rob? it. Rob, <laughs> tell us, <laughs> tell us how you did it. it. John, no, don't be helping. It, but no, I've done it. Done it. <clears throat> no, no, no. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> tell us what you did. It's the only way you'll learn. <laughs> I did twenty-five times a hundred. Then I wrote down two hundred and fifty. <laughs> <laughs> 25 times 100. Yeah, that's, that's not that's not correct. And then what I'm did you do? I'm a lot higher than I thought I would be at this stage. <laughs> yeah, but then what did you do? Then I did 10 times 10. Yeah. And would you put a million? <laughs> <laughs> that's 100. Yeah. Then what I did was I thought that what what Rachel's managed to get to to 2,500 <laughs> when I did it was 250. Right. So you're saying right. Rachel's wrong. Well, at the moment, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> so I added 100 to my 250. 2,600, yeah. Yeah, then I did 5 times 4, which is 20. Yeah. Yeah, but I had 350. <laughs> so I took 20 off my 350 and oh. I got it. But what happened was I got too overexcited and I didn't do the first one right. But in fairness, if you'd done 25 times 10 and then taken off the 100 that you had left over, you'd have got it. Yeah, so what I've done is completely fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, John. 25 plus 5 plus 4. Yeah. It's 34. Yep. Times by 10. 340. And then take off the other 10. That'll do it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Ten points to John's team. So Sean and Michelle have no points so far, and John and Rob have 18. <laughs> but we have spirit. Yeah, we have spirit. <laughs> Ready? Let's do a cheer, Sean. Yeah, you can't buy Sean that. Sean and Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the less enthusiastic he is, the more attracted I am to him. <laughs> <laughs> And here is your teaser. The words are Rob Perves. The clue is teach him a lesson. That's Rob Perves. Teach him a lesson. See you after the break. The words were Rob Perves. The clue was teach him a lesson. It was, of course, Proverbs. <laughs> OK, they've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Sean and Rob. Rob, your turn to choose the letters. Um, vowel. A. Vowel. <laughs> Consonant. P. Consonant. Oh. Vowel. It's quite important not to say I... please and just bark them at her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coming from you. 
slag anyone off for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a large wrong. So I said, please and thank you. I've not finished yet, Jim. Hurry up, consonant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. A vowel, please. Thanks, Rob. E. Please, we have a consonant. <laughs> D. Bar consonant, please. Ah. Oh. That's enough. That's all right for everyone, is it? Yep. Okay. And your time starts. Thank you. Now. <laughs> right. Christ, hang on. It's not working brilliantly. service for Elton John. Sean, <laughs> 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 uh, <Jordan>, her money. <laughs> you look so Six, active. Uh, Six. Six, Captain. I've got one, two, f uh, five. Five. What's your five? <laughs> <laughs> What's your five? <laughs> oh, that's very good. Oh. Look at that. What's your five? For somebody who don't drive himself, you're quite good, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> What's your five? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of <laughs> Fired. Fired? Yeah. Oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> We've had a bit of a, a bit of an upset. <laughs> Sean, what's your six? What's your six? Draper. That can't be good. Draper. Draper. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Dictionary Corner, could they have done any better? <laughs> <laughs> Having a wonderful time. I'm sailing. <laughs> <laughs> on the ocean's blue. Uh, could they have done any better? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they could. What, <laughs> what could they have got? <laughs> Wait till you come round again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be over in a second. What, what could they have got? Uh, a seven parried. Six points to Sean Steen. <laughs> Fun though, it only takes a minute to make. <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, Sean and Michelle have six. John and Rob have 18. <laughs> right. Now it's time for John and Michelle to go head-to-head. -head. Michelle, your turn to pick the numbers. Um, big number, big number, and then the rest little number. If you're struggling, John, just give me a nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Four little ones. Two, ten, four, six, one hundred and seventy-five. OK, so the target is 488. Your time starts now. OK, so the target was 488. Michelle, did you get it? Yes. OK. Um, <laughs> John, did you get it? Quite from there. No, I didn't, no. But you didn't even write anything. You just stared at the... No, I think I, w I went somewhere quite nice. I quite liked to sit wherever I was then. <laughs> it just broke out. I just let go then. <laughs> I suddenly realised maybe none of this matters. <laughs> I'm not even going to get that hot tub. Even if we win. You're not going to send that to my house. I bet it's not even a real hot tub. <laughs> Can you just cover up for the fact you couldn't do the sun? I couldn't do it, yeah, that's really <laughs> Michelle, how did you do it? Um, OK, so six times 75 is 450. 450. Uh, four times 10 is 40. Yep. Add those, and then minus two. That'll do. Well done. <laughs> 10 points for Michelle. OK, so Sean and Michelle have 16, John and Rob have 18. 
Time now to go to the dictionary corner. Uh, Spencer, what have you got for us? Right. <laughs> well, uh, who here has heard of grown tubes? Yeah, they the, make the noise when yeah, you... Yeah, yeah. Some people, you know, yeah. Yeah? 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 How long have I got to do? <laughs> <coughs> Whole box. <laughs> Had a couple of drinks and the internet and we. <laughs> and the missus is like, you're wasting your life. <laughs> 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 and so are you now as well. <laughs> wait, wait. Whole box. One, two, three. The pen is a bit rubbish. You get it. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for me! <laughs> I didn't get the email! <laughs> 25 quid. <laughs> She's like, I should have married your brother. Sean and Michelle have 16, John and Rob have 18. <laughs> and here is your teaser. The words are lubed, sir, and the clue is, would you like an extension? That's lubed, <laughs> sir, would you like an extension? See you after the break. Back, the answer to the tease. The words were lubed, sir. The clue was, would you like an extension? It was, of course, builders. Yeah. Okay, on to another letters game, and it's time to wrap up the tension. It's time for the tension round. In this game, we're playing for double points, so the pressure's on. Michelle, have you have you seen our tension round before? Now I've heard about it. So, yeah. <laughs> You don't have to say ooh after every every time I say the tension round. Okay, are you? <laughs> Maybe you do. Um, I think our audience might be haunted. Um, do you do well under tension? I'm not very good with sudden loud noises. I just I react to them like a cat. <laughs> like that, and I can't help it. Even if it, I know it's happening, fire at night for me is a joke. I can't deal with it. <laughs> John, how do you... Cos you don't tend to react well to the to the loud noises, do you? I hate this round. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Are you not a from? My balls. <laughs> I only had one left and it's gone. <laughs> Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> is there more of that? Or is that it? Absolute shit house. Okay, Sean Michelle, you pick the letters. A consonant, please, Rachel. L. A vowel, please. I. A consonant, please. N. Vowel. U. Consonant. C. Uh, another consonant. D. Vowel. A. Vowel. E. Consonant. And finally, M. OK, double points for the tension round. Eat it. <laughs> now.
horrible. <laughs> how, how many letters? Five. Five? OK. John, how many? Nine. No. Maybe, maybe. A nine. That would <laughs> be double points. That would be 18 points. This is you. Well, it's 18 points anyway, so it would be 36. But, hey, who gives a shit? It's only a game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Matt Larico. I mean, it's probably it's... not even a real hot tub. <laughs> OK, so 36 points on, on the line, right? Uh, Michelle, how many? <laughs> Um, I think I have seven, but I don't think it's a word. <laughs> Them's the breaks. Sean? Six. Six. OK. Uh, Rob, let's hear your five. Named. Named? Yeah, but it was like being a laser quest in here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a word? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, what's your seven? Unmetal. What, sorry? Unmetal. Oh, and something oh. isn't metal, like wood. Very American. No, no. <laughs> like when you get a medal taken away from you. Like you, oh. you had the gold medal, but then you got you took steroids and they found out. So now they unmedal. <laughs> unmedal. Uh, Susie Dent. Well, medal is in there as a verb. So, but unmedal isn't. Very nice. Yeah, um, all those letters are in that book, but unfortunately, in that order, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, yeah, you're uh, mailed. Mailed. Yep. Or made or unmade. Or made or unmade. All right, lovely. OK, John, for 36 points, do you have a nine-letter word? Unclaimed. It's in. Well done. Oh! I knew you had to see what he was. I knew. I knew. You. I knew. Yeah. This is... Seems a shame that there isn't any confetti left to let off. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a nine-letter word with double points for that, so 18, double that, because it was the tension round, 36 points. <laughs> so Michelle think, and Sean, think, that, yeah. I think it'd be silly to carry on now. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... You can't I think... really top that, can you? Well, I, I have to admit, we cheated as well. What do you mean you cheated? He told me the numbers. <laughs> When I for the, to the meth problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! I wasn't going to admit it if we won, but we lost. I mean, that so would have really just... pissed me off. But <laughs> like... It's just water under Biffin's bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know the prize you were saying earlier—the hot tub. You probably don't get the hot tub. Mm. But if it's all right with Michelle, I think the winners tonight should get a tarantula to take home. <laughs> I think that may go unclaimed. <laughs> Well, no, we might just pop it on John's head at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it would help you out at the back, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, uh, John and Rob are in the lead with 54 points. <laughs> OK, time to go across the dictionary corner one last time. Spencer, what have you got for us? Uh, well, I'd like the help of someone from the audience, if that's all right. Oh, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, would you come and help me out? Yeah, you go there and just uh, just see how it goes. <laughs> Why are you getting me on stage, man? Oh, I didn't want to see the show, no. Why are you putting me on the front? Lady forced me to the front row. Now everybody's gonna see this. Yes, so. no. okay. well, yeah, this is my mouth now, baby. I do a little kiss when you see me. And here is my eye now, baby. I do a little wait when you see me. I'm okay. showing my ears now, baby. And now we're back to the mouth now, baby. Let's do some exploring, baby. Exploring me, exploring me. Yeah, get your hands all on. They need a clean. Yeah, like an overweight skunk. All the bits they really need a clean. They need a clean now. Well, yeah, this is my nipple, baby. It's just a normal nipple, baby. Okay, yeah, it got pierced, baby. And there's a word over top says maybe, baby. But you know, this is my nipple. I don't know what to do with it, baby. It's kind of a weird nipple, baby. It goes ding, 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 ding. 
Santa Jones, everyone. OK, the scores at the moment, Sean and Michelle have 16 points, and that is nothing compared to John and Rob, cos they've got 54. <laughs> and here is your final teaser. The words are piss lane, the clue is, that feels nice, that's piss lane, that feels nice. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were piss lane. The clue was that feels nice. It was, of course, painless. OK, time for our final letters game. John and Rob, your turn to choose. Please cover a vowel. Oh. P please, may I have a consonant? G. Uh, a vowel, please. A. Consonant. S. Consonant. C. Consonant. A. Vowel, please. O. Um, vowel. E. Consonant, please. And R. Oh. Thank you very much. OK, and your 30 seconds starts now. This is boring. I might watch telly. <laughs> Can't find the remote. Um... Rob, how many? Um, I've got a six, but I'm not sure if it's a word. <laughs> Quite a lot of coins down here. Um, OK. Uh, John, how many? I've got a six, but I don't think it'll be in the dictionary. Um, <laughs> Sean, how many? Well, I had a seven, but then I realised I don't have a seven. <laughs> well, it's a lovely story. Thanks for that journey. <laughs> You've got nothing. Well, I've got, I've got a three. Michelle, And you have many? spirit. Yes, and I've got spirit. <laughs> And even though the odds seem insurmountable, I'm going to keep playing. <laughs> Michelle? I have five. I think I found the remote. Hang on, I'll, I'll get out. <laughs> um... <laughs> Got it. Um, uh, what was your three? Goo. <laughs> I had go, and then I saw the other O, and I thought, <laughs> zippity doo da. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Michelle, you're five? Uh, I had saxes. As in multiple, you play the sax, and you get more of them, and then you have saxes. Sax. 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 Saxes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, I've got uh, a six. Your six. What's your six? Gooser. <laughs> Gooser. Because I, I felt safe with goose, but I wanted to get a six. I thought a gooser might be someone that if you gets get... all the goose together. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> like a goose shepherd. I think you get goosed. That sense, but you can't be a gooser. Uh, so Sean is currently in the lead with a three letter word <laughs> goo. <laughs> John, you're six. Croissant. <laughs> what do you mean? Croissant. Uh, um, just in... talk me through what does croissant mean? Croissant Cymru. Welcome to Wales. Oh. Cr oh. Croissant. Well, it's in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely bad, OK, Spencer, could they have done any better? Uh, yeah, the two sevens, coaxers and cargoes. <laughs> OK, so Sean and Michelle have 16, John and Rob have 60. Uh. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's countdown conundrum. It couldn't be less crucial. <laughs> you are so far in the lead, but why not rub their noses in it? Your time starts now. <laughs> Waterfall. <gasps> no! No! Yeah. Let's have a look! Yes. 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 So, the final scores are... Sean and Michelle have 16. John and Rob have 70 points. <laughs> to 
congratulations, John and Rob. You're now the proud owner of this, the Countdown Tarantula. <laughs> Thanks to all our fans, our wonderful studio audience, and all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Coming up next Friday, and that means time to leg it with the lads to the studio. Joined tonight by David Mitchell and Zowie Ashton. Monday at nine, celebs are swapping paparazzi for policing as the famous fight crime. <laughs>